Hello and welcome to this first video on LT Spice. Today, the aim will be to show you some basic tools of this program by using a quite easy example. We will start with building a resistive voltage divider circuit. Then we will make some simulations. The first will be in DC with the directive uh, point OP. For the second one, we will add the directive point step. And then the last simulation will be in AC with the directive point run. When you open LT Spice, you will have this window. For the building of our first circuit, we will choose start a new blank schematic. As you may have seen, I have a Mac, so people on PC may notice some differences, for example, the toolbar, but functionalities and icons are the same in other case. Let's begin the building of our circuit. So right click, draft, component, and then in this list, select voltage, so for voltage source. Okay. Let's add two resistors. And now we will add the wires. So draft wires. To go quicker here, you can go through both resistors, then click. And here I will add a branch. Then I will right click on it, label net, and I will set the ground. Okay, now we will set the values of our component. So right click on the value, so V. And for the voltage source, we will choose 5 volt. Then for these resistors, right click and select 10 ohm. And for the second one, 20 ohm. You can also change the name of components. You can right click on it. Let's call it V. And also for uh, the branch. So right click, label net, and here uh, we will say it's B. And for this one, right click double net and it's A. You can also notice if you right click, go, uh, select edit, you can move, drag, delete, duplicate under redo. So that may be useful. Okay, the circuit is ready now for running. To establish the first simulation in DC, right click, draft, spice directive, then right click and choose help me edit, analysis command, and here select DC bias point. This is very useful to find the DC operating point and so very useful for a DC situation. Now you should have point OP, okay. And now we can run this circuit. So run, now we have this pan. If you are on PC, you maybe have here 
um, a text file. So it's normal. It's just yeah, a little bit different, but the results are the same. So now, how to use um, this pan? If you come back here to this uh, circuit, if you right, uh, if you click on the branch, you will have um, the voltage. So the same for B. And now, if we want to know the current, you can go on a component and click on it. Just be careful with um, the positive direction of the measurement uh, that is indicated by uh, the red arrow. OK, now we will see some options uh, with this pan. So right click on the measurement. And here you can change uh, the color of this uh, measure, measurement. If we right, uh, right click on the pan, you can have some options. For example, you can add a grid. And we can also right click on axis. And if we want, we can change uh, the limits. OK, let's analyze the values. So to do this, we will use uh, cursors. So left click on a measurement. And we will have this uh, window. And here, you have this cursor. So it's this one. And then you have the value here for uh, the voltage uh, for B. And the same for the current. And now we will compare these values with uh, the theoretical um, yeah, expected values. So here we have uh, our situation. And here the calculations with here those values. And if we compare, here we find uh, the same. So yeah, this simulation seems to be correct. Now we will add the directive point step. The idea is to vary the value of the voltage source between two limits. First thing, right click on the value of the voltage source and write a letter between two curly brackets. So for example, V. Then right click, select spice directive, right click and select point step command. So the name of the parameter is V. You can change the nature of sweep. Here we will keep linear. The start value is 1, the stop value 6, and the increment uh, 0.5 volt. OK. Now we can run the circuit. And here on the x axis, you have the value of the voltage source. So the V. So now we will look at the voltage in A and B. And right click, view, select data points. And here, so we display the data points. And we have a data points every 0.5 volt. So that's what we have selected here.
You can also attach a cursor on VB and move it. And here you have the volume. We can also calculate the resistance of R2. To do this, right click, add plot pan, right click, add trusses. Here we will use the ohm law. So to calculate the resistance of R2, we will write VB out of the current. And now we have here the value of 20 ohm, so that's correct. To learn the point run directive, we will use a sinusoidal signal. So first thing, I configure the voltage source, right click on it, then select advanced and sign. This signal will have a DC offset of zero volt, an amplitude of five volt, and a frequency of one K Hertz. Okay, now right click, spice directive, right click and analysis command. We use now the transient directive. So it's to observe um, the circuit during a period of time. The stop time will be two millisecond and here the start time will be zero millisecond so it's not necessary uh, to specify it okay now run and now on the x-axis we have um, the time between zero and two millisecond We observe the voltage on A and B. So here for the voltage on A, you can see a peak of five volt. So the five volt of the amplitude we've selected is a peak value. Now, if you control left click on a measurement, you can have the average value and the RMS value. Before finishing, let me draw your attention to the LTSPICE help. This help is very useful when you don't know or you don't remember how to use something on LTSPICE.